Hi everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineers Tech Up channel. So, in this video, we will discuss TCS interview question and answer for two to five years of experience. So, let's move in the first question. So, first question is always tell me about yourself. So, if you are already watched my previous video, you can skip this question because this question is common question and I am adding for all this, you know, uh, video. So tell me about yourself is very important here. You have to tell about your profile, right? So interviewer will pick you the same thing, whatever you're going to tell me about yourself and what you're going to tell me about yourself, that thing must be matched in your profile means in your resume right if you are speaking something you're in your regime be having the something different then they will ask you the many cross questions right so what you are going to speak what you are showing to the interviewer that everything you having the handy you having the keep ready for give the answer your profile is very important so what you have to tell me about yourself in tell me about yourself you have to tell your name your organization your relevant experience your skill set your project roles and responsibility so these are the things you have to highlight if you don't know how to represent tell me about yourself you can watch my previous video we have a separate playlist end of the video i will tell you you know for real time interview question and answer which is common because the people who is struggling if you are a manual tester or if you are a non tech guy or if you sorry if you don't have a much are you having the long gap and you are planning to switch in your testing profile or automation testing profile so we are doing some silly mistake in the interview then interviewer will understand you do not work real time and all so that all the things you know when you will do the proper practice and all then definitely you can present very well in front of the interviewer so end of the session i will also tell you regarding that playlist also Another question is explain your project and overall experience. So in the project, what do you have to explain? You have to explain your domain knowledge. You have to explain your uh, automation, uh, you know, framework automation part, like what is your contribution of your project in your automation? So you have to explain your framework. So I have, uh, you know, made the separate video of how to explain your project, how to, you know, explain your framework what is your day-to-day -day activity what is your contribution of in your project in your automation profile or manual right so we can discuss explain your automation testing life cycle so here sometime what will happen we have a, some existing project when you will join the company uh, the teammates will give you the kt they will arrange the kt team lead will give you the kt or your teammate will give you the kt then after KT, you can start to uh, work, right? Regular work. So here we have to explain how to do, how to start the automation and some important part. So we having the deciding the scope of the test automation, choosing the right automation tools, plan, design, and a strategy, set up the test environment, test a script and execution, and maintenance approach, how to maintain our all automation part, right? So sometimes we having the application like, integration we are in you know we having the into inflow so we have a, some desktop application if you will do some integration things right so many things will come then we have to analyze what is the scope of the uh, testing automation testing then we can make the proper document what we can automate what we cannot automate right so choosing the right tools tools are very important here so be, uh, so we are always trying to do the cost cutting and whatever and we are also looking for most more, more stable tools right so these are the things we have to decide you know while uh, starting before starting the automation or this is the automation how we have started the automation so plan design and a strategy so we have to make a plan also so fetch all the manual so uh, we can uh, you know if you have a agile right so in the agile they are going to do the planning for how they are going to let me just drag this so whatever the point i have mentioned at least you guys are right or you are able to watch that so design and fetch all the manual test cases from test management tool that which has to automate, right? So we are, you know, 
filtering the test cases, what we can automate, we are analyzing this, all the things, which framework we have to use and we can find the advantage and disadvantage also, create a test suit for the automation test case in the test management tools. In test plan, you can mention the background limitation and risk dependency between the application and tools. Approval from the client and holders. The setup environment. So setup environment is also important where we are going to maintain and we are going to set up our environment. So test the data. So test the data maintenance is also one of the big challenge for us because data is not a proper, then your automation a script will not work properly. We have to also set up like the multiple browsers we are going to use or multiple browsers we are going to test it. Then automation frameworks are very important. Which type of the framework designing or if you have a framework, then if new uh, things are there in our application, which is not there. So how we can be having the less be having the less time, how we can make this framework is more stable, more usable more you know productive the people can do the more productive and make an ease so big this all the analyzing things things we can do tools configuration and license so license you know they will also uh, look like the let me drag here okay so you know they will uh, you know uh, you, you we can uh, decide the budget also right what the tools we have how many resources we have to provide the license and all so these are the all the things we have to take care test a script development and execution so here creating a test a script based on the requirement of the project that is the important things using the common method through the process that is the also important thing ensure the script are reusable your script whatever a script you are going to design it must be reusable easy a structure and that anyone can understand whatever the script you have written. So perform the proper code review reporting for the better insight and maintenance quality through the process. So here the review is very important. Whatever you have written the test cases, your lead can might be review your uh, automation a script and they can give you some, some review comment as well. Then after that review current. So here we are providing the quality of our script then here the most important part to reporting part because the we until unless end of the day you have to send to the report to our client your manager who is your stakeholder and you, who is your poc of that right so reporting we have to decide we having the multiple reporting a step in the market so we can use here best reporting like extend report we can use like that okay so here explain your regression testing simple way i will give you some example of real time example of regression testing so regression testing is like many of a manual tester you already know agile process we having the release right so we have a defect right or existing defects are there that functionality before it was not working then developer has fixed the code and they have released in the testing environment that is available for testing right so whatever the defect you are going to test your main agenda is to uh, uh, test why we do the testing because we are providing the quality of the product right so our agenda is to find the you know we have to do retesting very well it should not break in our production and all right so the regression means might be some new features are added right that features and you have created a test scenario for that you have validated uh, a happy flow or positive or negative scenario then you you have to think also whatever the features we have tested you know new features it should not impact in your existing features so you have to do the high level of regression as well right so whatever the uh, the you know we can just test into in one scenario also so what will happen from a starting to ending this scenario is working fine means we have tested the new features also or old features also so it should not break our existing features so that is called your regression testing so whenever someone some new features are added to the application the next build is released uh, then the test engineer will check all the related functionality of those new features once again in order to confirm whether they are 
working find or not okay so this is very easy things what is a uh, defect what is defect uh, leakage and defect release so name itself you know defect leakage right so <laughs> you have tested but uh, unfortunately some uh, your code is breaking in your production so users will find some defect right end of the users so defect leakage highlights the defect that are found by end users after that the release of the application it is also referred as a bug leakage bug release so what is the bug release existing defect right we, that is the known defect we are testing right so when we release any version of any application or software with a group of some known bug or issue got it right so this is your bug release how to handle switch how to switch the frame so we can switch the frame by using the index by using the name id or web element so again if you are learning selenium or if you are attending the interview these are the very important uh, topics how to handle the frame so you have to know very well and if you don't know you can follow my playlist i explain from the scratch with code with multiple scenario okay you can follow i will tell you in the end of the video explain abstract class and interface so i have already explained this question in the previous video please go through this my previous video you will get this answer and i want to uh, announce one more thing here and many automation test engineer who is struggling to learn the code java even they have already done the courses what i observed many course you will get on the udemy also youtube also many tutors are there they have given the very best content but they did not teach the things as a systematic way the beginner can understand right so what happened we are not getting much confidence we are writing the code but you are not a confident if interviewer will ask you the cross question you are not able to give the answer right so that the things i have you know find the solution or whatever you can tell i have launched very simple where this is the udemy the people if you know or don't know this is the udemy the best platform here core java you can type core java beginner to master so here i have launched uh, the course beginner to master if you are struggling for the core java a skill so here might we be having the 799 but just you can wait for that the price will be less here 455 you will get or if you are not then you can reach out to me i will share some discount coupon so you will get this course in the very less so here i have started this course i have designed from the very beginning how to start your java code why we are writing the class keyword as a class block how to start to write what to write right so here i have designed this course and if you will enroll this course then i am very confident you will not stuck any single uh, you know interview any question in the java this course i have designed i have do many r and d because the many people are struggling from you know they are rejecting in the core java skill set and they are rejecting in the programming as well so i have designed this course you guys can get you know more confidence and you will not 100% you will give the able to give the answer in the core java skill set so might we have enrolled this courses right so what happened 30 days we having the money return back guarantee okay if you don't like this courses then you can return this course within uh, 30 days we having the return so you can return this if you know already java then at least you can try definitely i am very confident you will get something new in my courses okay this is the one announcement guys so again we are moving this so don't worry about of your java skill set uh, so why i have launched this course on the udemy because udemy having the very less prices so anyone can learn anytime the people can learn and be having the best platform to for the udemy okay so now the next question is okay one second now next question is let me do one thing guys okay i think just i am just this format is little bit big okay so just i'm 
uh, make as this okay so this is easy right so how to handle the multiple uh, window in selenium right so for handling the multiple window be having the has next method next method and we will use driver dot switch to dot window okay let me explain you this code okay so practical part please follow my video okay you will get more clarity if you are not doing the hands-on please follow because if i will go for write this code this video size will increase because this video this topic is already available in my uh, channel so you can utilize that okay you can see if you are not doing the practice or you are a beginner you will not understand this code if you are doing the practice if you are good in the core java then you will understand so here we can explain this is the common things we are launching the browser and we are just giving the beta statement so we have a method called get window handles so get window handles will return the parent window id okay if we will print this you will get some window id here just we are going to perform some operation of the parent window then we have a method called get window handles this get window handles will return a set of web element so whatever the window we have we are storing this all this multiple sorry windows right so it will return the set 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 is and in the set type of the string so it will store in the set so set is working on your hashing algorithm and collection is a container which is used to store homogeneous heterogeneous heterogeneous without size limitation so if you want to explain again learn to the you know collection you can just go through my you know a youtube channel if you want to learn in the free or if you want to spend some money then you can just go for the udemy course and definitely that course will uh, you know help you because you can see all the concept we are using for the java if you are not good in the java you will not become a automation test engineer if you already know the java please try that course i have made something different from the others okay so here in this get window handles you will get some id and here sorry get window handles it will return the set of this then after that we are iterating again iterator is coming from collection so what happened this iterator we are accessing from this set so set is not working on the index right that's why we are going to use the iterator here so it will what will happen it will then you can see we have a while loop so this while loop i have given here so what will happen this has next will check this object is present or not if object is present then we will get this object right and the next next method will move the cursor in the next got it right so here you will get a child window here we have given one condition parent window id is not equal to child window id right then we are able to switch in the you know child window got it right so whatever the validation do you want to in the child window we can do this you can say just i am we have a city bank and this city bank just we are validating here uh, text right here we are validating and we are comparing this so this is very simple and if you want to do the practice you can just follow my playlist you will get over there okay so at the end uh, of the day how you will send your report to the manager and your project manager uh, guys this is the my previous uh, you know questions are there but you can consider this also okay so how you can send the report to your manager simple way uh, be having the multiple if you have a setup with your jenkins so by default it will go for the if sanity will run or if any deployment is going on so we have a setup in the devops part so automatically send the report to the all the email whatever the email group we have sometimes we are going to keep our report in the some share point or sometimes we are keeping the report in your you know uh, some locations is there so we can like that we can share our report okay but best way to do the integration with uh, uh you know uh, C, uh, ci cd so automatically that report will send to the the people you you know having in the group your manager or whatever okay so thank you so much for 
watching this video and press bell icon to get new video notification guys so we are doing the hard work and i'm trying my best to collect the best questions right so i'm be having a lot of the question but i'm trying to collect the best questions okay so and please share subscribe and press bell icon so and you can just go through this uh, uh, you know if you are become a master of the java then i will tell you this is my youtube channel you can see this is my youtube channel the channel name is ingenious tech hub you i have seen the many content but i am trying to give the content which is not available got it right so here you will get something which is not available or if you are planning to attend the interview or you are attending the interview you are not much confidence or you are rejecting in the interview that is here you can see i am working on this series automation test engineer so you can just go for this playlist this playlist name is automation testing uh once again okay so here you can go for automation testing so here you will get all the top level of the mnc company interview question and answer that is the one thing second thing here you could see uh, i have collected the common interview programming questions so this question is already asked in the top level of the mnc and that question is repeated okay so you can do the programming practice interview programming practice from here i told you right which is not available in others channel i am doing that part another playlist is the most important playlist is many of you guys are automation uh, sorry manual tester or you are working in the different profile and you are planning to switch your company in your automation sorry you are planning to switch in your automation testing profile so i have made you know this common playlist real time interview question and answer what whatever the challenges you have faced in your automation project your roles and responsibility in your automation what is your day to day activity in your automation so i told you right this content will not get in the any other youtube channel the people having i have seen that many videos but this is the feedback i am getting this is the you know i made this all the video i have made for my experience what i am going to work in the company because this real time experience the people are not able to get and you guys are not confident you are very good in the technical but you are not able to give the you know some silly question if they will ask you so you can just go through this playlist and this is very important and again thank you so much for watching this video and uh, that's all in this video guys so see you in the next video and please please, uh, please share and subscribe and press bell icon and that is very helpful for me and uh, you know i'm getting the also more confidence the people is going to like comment and if you have any suggestion any feedback please comment below please reach out to me if you are facing any problem for attending the interview and all definitely i will try to help you thank you so much and see you in the next video